Welcome to the Smite God Reveal for Ratatoskr. Yggdrasil, the tree of the nine worlds, the source of all life. Rising through the center of the cosmos, it grows through the invisible heart of everything. Only one god traverses these winding branches and roots. One god that can call Yggdrasil home. Ratatoskr! Forever playing the messenger, endlessly running from the highest peaks to the depths of the deepest roots. Ratatoskr! Oh, wait, what? Introducing Ratatoskr. The Norse god of gossip, errand boy between the eagle- Errand boy? Lady, I think you got your facts messed up. Excuse me? How about you rest that pretty voice of yours? I'll take it from here. I don't think- Introducing Ratatoskr, glorious champion of Yggdrasil, who's also dashingly handsome. Who can forget the time he heroically fought the Jotun alongside the All-Father Odin? That didn't happen. Or when he bravely defended the halls of Valhalla from evil, wielding the mighty Mjolnir and rescuing the maiden Freya. That definitely didn't happen. His tales don't stop there. Using just an acorn, he downed the trickster Loki, Captured the monstrous Fenrir and sent Hell packing back to the depths of... of... Hell! (sighs) This is getting nuts. Hey! You got a problem with my narrating? None of what you said happened. (laughs) It hasn't happened. Yet. Oh! This is getting nuts! (laughs) I get it. Ratatasker's passive is called the Acorn of Yggdrasil. Ratatasker spawns with a powerful acorn already in his inventory. He can upgrade his acorn through the item store from anywhere on the map to strengthen himself and enhance his abilities. First up is his one. It's called Dart. Ratatasker dashes in the target direction, dealing damage to all enemies along the way. If Ratatasker strikes an enemy god he has not struck with Dart in the last 10 seconds, the cooldown is actually reset. His second ability is called Flurry of Acorns. Ratatasker spins in a circle, shooting 12 acorns out in a circle around him that freeze in the air briefly, then return to wherever Ratatasker is currently at, dealing damage on the way out and the way back. Ratatasker's three is called Acorn Blast. Ratatasker shoots out a blast of four acorns that are projectiles forward in a cone that each do individual damage. The Sapphire Acorn changes Acorn Blast. Acorn Blast now becomes a shotgun blast of sticky grenades. They will stick to the target and deal damage on the initial hit and on the secondary explosion. The Emerald Acorn also changes Acorn Blast. It will now heal for the number of targets you hit with this ability. The Topaz Acorn changes Dart. If you dash through someone twice, it will now stun your target. The Opal Acorn also changes Dart. Dart will now shoot lightning bolts to target you pass by during the dash, but doesn't fill the area with damage. It will apply on hit effects like crits though. The tier 1 blue acorn now makes your flurry of acorns slow. The tier 1 yellow acorn will now make your flurry of acorns deal more damage. Finally, it's time to talk about his ultimate. It's called Through the Cosmos. Ratatasker charges briefly, then leaps from the ground to a branch above his head. He must then jump to a new branch twice more. On the third branch, Ratatasker chooses a landing location where he can strike down dealing damage. Canceling his ult while in the air at any point causes Ratatasker to strike down on his last valid target location dealing damage. Ratatasker's main strength is speed and misdirection. He's a wily little critter who loves to be darting in and out of fights constantly. Here's a quick guide for you thinking on your paws and using your environment when playing the Sly Messenger. Activate Flurry of Acorns before using Dart to travel through an enemy god. As the acorns from Flurry of Acorns return to you and pass through your target, 
hit a point-blank acorn blast for an incredible combo damage. Flurry of acorns can hit many times, not just on the way back, but also on the way out. Stand close to jungle minions when activating for maximum clear potential. Leverage the powers that the acorns you choose give you after purchase. Specifically, if you buy into the blue acorn, your gank potential becomes very potent early on, whereas the yellow acorn will increase your burst and jungle clear. Maxing his two first makes your jungle clear and laden presence nuts. If you go down the blue acorn path, max is three next. If you go down the yellow acorn path, max is one next. Focus on using your mobility to gain map presence through the mid game. Ratatasker is a powerful mid game god and can easily get his team ahead, making it difficult for enemy teams to catch you. Sorry, catch you. If you're using the sapphire acorn, remember that all four acorns can be stuck to a single target. Additionally, acorns pause at max range or on walls and can be used to jungle effectively or zone out all flank positions. Sapphire acorns allow your three to stick to gods, walls, or persist at max range. Don't be afraid to set up wily traps around corners or zone out your enemies with persisting acorns, or just shotgun blast them for massive damage. The emerald acorn is an excellent tool to pick up early to sustain yourself. Enemies may not expect you to be able to heal yourself, so try to bait them and then go nuts. The topaz acorn is great for getting early ganks and can be used to secure the mid game. It is also very useful at allowing you to easily secure many hits for your two and your three. The opal acorn is a later game option that scales very well with critical strikes and other on-hit effects. The sudden change from a critical strike or an on-hit effect can certainly shock your opponents. Remember that lightning strikes cause your dash to reset as well. Ratatasker excels at engaging quickly for damage and then dashing back out of the fight until he can recommit. Be careful of being too aggressive with your dash reset, as it can leave you stuck, or in Ratatasker's case, he can end up as roadkill. Through the Cosmos isn't just a tool for rushing into a fight. Remember, Ratatasker is a very crafty critter, and sometimes he can use it to quickly escape. It's fire giant time as Ratatasker will start it up, but he sees the enemy team approaching, darts through Scylla and through Medusa, gets the reset on Sylvanas, flurry of acorns plus acorn blast? That's combo damage, Sylvanas. Sorry, buddy, you stand no chance versus the squirrel. On hers next, oh wait, no, he wants Medusa, and that's the power of the yellow acorn. Ratatasker brings swiftness to the battlefield. Starting him off with Flurry of Acorns provides excellent early jungle clear. Next, pick up Dart for early harassment and an escape for tricky situation. From there, if you pick the blue acorn path, the priority shift to Flurry of Acorns into Acorn Blast, then through the Cosmos, and then Dart. If you pick the Yellow Acorn Path, it's Flurry of Acorns, Dart, through the Cosmos, and then Acorn Blast. Thanks for watching the Smite God reveal for Ratatasker, the Sly Messenger.